Hello there, what's up, what's going on? Alright you guys, what's poppin', how you doing? Prepare for Q&A with Natalie. Hey, I decided to do a Q&A video because I've never done one of these on my channel. And I feel like it's time for you and me to get to know each other. It's like when you're in a relationship and then you just like take off your makeup and you put your hair up high and you're like, this is the real me, baby. This is what's gonna happen. Grab yourself some tea. It ain't Christmas yet, but... I am always in a Christmas spirit. I will put Christmas music all year long. I'm that kind of person. Okay. Where the questions at? It's like how I wrote Q&A with Natalie's Outlet. You can't even see it. And also, I added a little touch. This little book that says Q&A. Check it out. Just for you guys. Just for you. And no one notices. We're getting weird here. I'm gonna start with just really basic things that I get here on my question. Frequently asked questions. What is your name? Is your name Natalie's? My name is not Natalie's. Okay. So my name is not Natalie's. My name is actually Natalie. And the reason it says Natalie's without the apostrophe is because apostrophe stands for ownership. And when I had a vision for my channel, it was not to have it be only my creative outlet because this is what it is to me it was to have it be everybody's creative outlet so that's why there is no apostrophe in natalie's outlet and my name is not natalie's it's natalie so my name is natalie nice to meet you old of you a lot of people think i'm like 16 years old i'm actually 21 years old and i know hard to believe i don't know i don't know what to say because everybody perceives things differently and if i look older to some people if i look younger to some people that's just the way it is but i am 21 years old so the big two one. First question is, what is your ethnicity? I am Colombian American. My family is from Colombia, South America, and I was born in Chicago, Illinois. I love Chicago, the shy city, the windy city, but actually I live more in the suburbs, so it's not like I really, I'm not really like city girl or anything. I'm the suburb girl. If you could collab with anyone in the world, who would it be by Icon Network? Well, if you may ask, I actually, oh my god, this is crazy. So I did a collaboration video. Well, I was featured in Michelle Fon's video like what? what what I can't believe it either I can't believe it either 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 whatever school has taught me nothing cannot believe it either either <laughs> This is really weird and creepy but I have a bucket list of things that I write and things that I visualize and whatever you know I'm like a crazy powerful mind kind of girl but anyways I always wanted to be in a video with her that's kind of weird so I wrote it down because you know they always say like just write down your wildest dreams or whatever and I wrote down do a video with Michelle Fawn and I had the opportunity to do one you should check it out I'll link it down below it was awesome it's a back to school video I'm playing the high schooler there's also featuring crispy 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 queen crispy you know crispy's in the video also obviously Michelle's in the video we do DIYs we do all this stuff it's really crazy to be in her video it makes me feel like dreams do come true and anything that you visualize and really like put your mind to and believe in happen that's who I would have liked to do a collaboration video and I did it another person that I would love to do a collaboration video but like you know whatever Let, let's just say it might happen who knows I love Kathleen lights like I love her I love her so much I love her just I love her you just feel like this awesome connection with her when you watch her channel so I would love to collaborate with her I am actually wearing all her eyeshadows right now do you like it I was trying to find Lumiere I buy everything she creates but I couldn't find Lumiere I'm like oh my god I'm gonna have to rebuy it but which is fine I actually bought her recent um lip liquid lipstick um Ofra I'm so by Ofra oh my god it's called Miami Fever I'm so excited to get it I will show you guys I'll probably do a tutorial on it because it's like the perfect fall color but yeah Kathleen Light she'd be like a also, Selma asks, and what picture comes to mind when someone says the perfect vacation? Um, I mean, sure, it's something tropical or something like that, but honestly, just being at home. That is the perfect, uh, I was gonna say the perfect relationship. The perfect vacation is just me being at home in my pajamas, my comfy socks, my tea at hand on YouTube, watching YouTube videos. Honestly, that, that's all I like to do. That's all I ever did in high school. That's all I ever do now in college, so. Uh, and my boyfriend has to be there too, cause I love him, so yeah. Okay, yeah, cheesy, 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 squeezy, okay. What's your favorite place slash restaurant to eat at? Now, if you know anything about me, I can eat Asian food for days. Like, I love sushi, I love Asian food, I love Asian buffets, I love Thai food, I love Mexican food, but who am I kidding? I love all kinds of food, so. Favorite restaurant? I just like Chinese buffets. They're cheap, they're good, and they're efficient for my tummy. So, fave kind of movie. I love romance comedy movies. Like some of the movies that I can watch 
over and over again. 27 Dresses. I watched that movie a gajillion at one time. I can never get tired of that movie. I don't know what it is. It's so fun. It's so like, it's awesome. Also, The Devil Wears Prada. I love those movies. I just like a lot of like funny romance movies where there's like this really quirky female character because I feel like I can relate. I live in the hot, swampy place of Florida. Is like 100 degrees. We're quickly a I'm trying to bring in fall because I'm wearing all these fall clothes and I just I don't think I'm gonna get my chance this year like it is burning up in here what's your favorite color and what do you like sand or snow I would say a lot of things I buy tend to be blue I tend to decorate with a lot of blues blues I really like I'm into like this geometric thing dang I just noticed holy cow Snow is beautiful, but I'm more of a hot climate kind of gal, so I would have to say sand. Sand's nice, you can exfoliate your skin. But hey, Dennis, are you whispering? Are you in danger? No, I'm filming a video. What do you mean, Noel? You gotta RESPCT my time. Respect. He asked if uh, I plan on getting married. What did he say? Um, I mean, I don't know, I'm just telling you or who inspired you to make a YouTube channel. So, YouTube has been something I have been wanting to do for a long time, man. That is all I ever did in high school. Like, that's all I ever did in real school. All I watched was YouTube videos. Some people just kind of fall into YouTube, but I've always wanted to really, from the bottom of my heart, do videos. I was always too scared to do it. And now that I make videos, like, what was I even scared of? Like, nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing to be afraid of. If you ever want to start a YouTube channel, I would highly encourage you to because it's one of the most fulfilling things there are. there is. Oh my god, I cannot talk to everyone has inspired me and thank you guys so much for actually watching my videos, for encouraging me to make more videos, and for just loving my content. It means the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your favorite quote? My favorite quote. Huh, I actually do have one. This is kind of funny. And it's kind of like a weird quote. My favorite quote in the world is there's nothing like deep breaths after laughing that hard. Nothing in the world like a sore stomach for the right reasons. Quotes that's kind of like just enjoy your life. Those are the moments to live for. I really like that quote. I like it. I like it. I don't know. What's your fave song at the moment? <laughs> I hate to say it. What do you mean by Justin Bieber? Like, this is how I would dance to this at the club. It's a good song. I, I was listening to it this whole morning while I was putting uh, my makeup on, like on repeat. I just can't. It's such a nice beat. It's like very like flowy. I love it. But my favorite song of all time is "Take on Me" by Aha. Uh -huh. I just I love that song. It's so classic. It's too it's too bomb it's so bomb. Sophia style my friend Sophia I'm gonna actually get to see her in New York I'm so excited we're going to Generation Beauty if you're gonna be there let me know down below I would love to see you guys so she says if you can live in any TV show which would it be let's see not a scary TV show because I would die of anxiety I love Bob's Burgers I love Tina Belcher I would probably be Tina Belcher in Bob's Burgers because she is amazing she's kind of weird but I kind of feel like she's my spirit animal like I, I would sync with her. If we're awkward together. It, it would be good. I would like to be there. Oh, I could be her best friend. That would be awesome. Oh my god. Natalie. Natalie in Bob's Burgers and with Tina Belcher, best friend. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Tips for new YouTubers. Don't feel the need to be like everybody else or like anybody specifically. Like on YouTube, you see a lot of the same things and I feel like people feel that pressure to fit a certain category but the coolest thing is when you set yourself apart and you are yourself because that's your biggest asset and there will always be something different about you there's always something that separates you so find that and really emphasize that so if you're like really quirky use that if you're really cool with editing like use that use something to really separate yourself don't try to fit a mold of everybody because that's just it's not relatable. How did you and Dennis meet? So me and Dennis actually, I met him at two weddings. I actually saw him and I was like, dang. My dad used to play soccer like on Sundays and he would go with him and I just happened to go because I like to kind of like get away and just read out, I don't know, be out at nature. So I would go with my dad and so I got to see him there a few times and then eventually we started to talk and it was really awesome. If you guys ever want a video with Dennis, let me know. He's always kind of like behind the scenes. He helps me film a lot of my videos, so let me know. Maybe we'll do a boyfriend tag. Maybe, 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 baby. What is your favorite thing about fall? 
so many things there is nothing that I do not like about fall I think my favorite favorite thing is that fall comes then it's Thanksgiving then it's Halloween and then it's Christmas it's like a bundle of everything the coolest little coziest bundle ever can you say hello Ariel yes hello Ariel how are you and what is your favorite essential from August my favorite this is my essential of August this is biscuit we got him a little while ago he's really fat he wasn't this fat two weeks ago this dude eats like no one's business he's really cute he's really fat the camera's that way please don't show them your booty that's rude there you go so yeah, this is my little nugget. This is the silliest thing I have ever done. Hmm. Me and my cousins, we got together in Colombia, but we were all in a room and we were just like having a little bit too much fun. The plan was to leave the house at night, like at three in the morning or four in the morning and get out of the house through the window, even though we could have obviously just used the front door. But it was at, in a closed community in Colombia, so like the security guard was like looking at us all getting out of the window. It's like a one story house. Like, why can't you use the door? We were all like getting out of the window, trying to be really quiet, and like there's like this freaking dog here, like kind of like barking at us. We're trying to just stay quiet, all hanging through the window, and that's probably the silliest thing I've ever done, because girl, just use the door. That's stuck, and you could choose any celebrity to be stuck with. Who would you choose? Oh my god, I like this question. Hmm. It'd have to be anyone that is really hilarious. I don't know, I kinda like to be stuck with Tina Belcher. Can she be a celebrity? She's a celebrity in my eyes, but um... I forget, Mr. Bean, hello. He is amazing. He would make me laugh throughout the whole day. Plan to get married anytime soon. <laughs> been in a relationship with Dennis for almost... I don't know, has it been five years yet? Or are we going... I think we're going to six years. Oh my gosh, anyways. Um, yeah, definitely. I do see marriage in the cards for me now. I am absolutely in love with my best friend. Eventually, yeah, I would love to marry him, so... Yeah. Would you ever do a meetup? Yes, I would. Even if one person goes, heck yeah, like that would be amazing. We could all go out for ice cream. I don't know if you've noticed, but it actually says <clears throat> on my YouTube channel, it says subscribe for ice cream. So I totally buy you guys some ice cream. Now, if it was a lot of you, then I couldn't. But let's have a meetup. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. How the world, where would your first stop be at? By the way, love your videos, girl. Thank you so much. My first stop. Hmm. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Japan, I already told you I love Japanese food. I love all kinds of that food. I would go straight for a buffet or something like that. Or sushi. Oh my god, yes. Tips for a successful YouTube channel. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm in person to really ask for this question, but I do have a lot of tips for just a good channel. I mean, I feel like being a full-time student, it's been really hard on me, but I love this, so I take the time to do it. But I can definitely do a separate video on just like all my YouTube tips, all the things that I've learned, a really in-depth video of everything. If you guys are interested, let me know. I will do it for you. What is your favorite pet? If you know anything about me, I love big dogs. Any kind of like big dog I like, but it's specifically golden retrievers. They're my favorite. I'm gonna have a million when I'm like I've always wanted to be in those commercials with Skechers. They always have like these baby golden retrievers and it's like, oh my god, that'd be a dream come true. Do you speak Spanish or other languages? PS love you. Love you too. Um see, sí, hablo español. Eh, español colombiano, I I guess. I don't know. Yes, I speak fluent Spanish, so that is that. Would you rather be bald or wear no makeup for the rest of your life? I would rather be bald. I think I could rock a bald head with fierce eyeliner, fierce highlight, fierce lips. And again, my head might get really sunburned by the heat. I'd, I'd still rather be bald. I'd rather be bald. So those were all the questions. Thank you so much for everyone that left questions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know to do more personal videos. I think a lot of like my DIY makeup tutorials, you don't really get to see my real transparent personality. And these kind of sit down videos are a lot of fun. So I would love to do more. Uh, we could have like, I don't know. Q and A's all the time or something like that. I don't know, but definitely leave me one thing about you down below, or if you just want to answer all the questions that I answer down below, hey, go for it because I would love to know. Also, I'm getting a PO box. Oh my God, yes. So you guys can write me letters or send me postcards or whatever you would like. I would love to get that. A lot of you have been asking me, so I'm having a PO box. I'm getting a PO box. So if I already have it by the time this video goes up, it should be down below. Send me a letter, say hello. I would love to be your pen pal and write back to you. It's gonna be like old times, like. A 
elementary school. Those were the best. So last time I asked you guys to respond to my Twitter. I have a question for you guys and you would be featured in this video. So here it is. The question was donuts or pizza? What are you? What team? So these are your questions. La 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 la. And all of your responses. So I'm going to have another question for you guys. It's going to be linked down below so you can click to tweet me and then you can be featured in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. It's bound to get weird. Ooh, is this microphone on? Struggle of doing everything by yourself. Camera check. A microphone check. Lights check. Natalie, why I look so bald? Why I look so bald there? Dude, why I look so bald? Alright, my baby hair never grew out and it just, it never grew into hair. This should be like my little theme song. Oh my god, I've actually never watched this video. That's weird. I mean, I like this song. Anyways. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> camera was so rude enough to turn off on me so I just oh my god what's that work I live in Florida you understand my struggle I want fall to be here so bad I just want to wear fall outfits but you guys like it's like 100 degrees right now where is my cell phone here is a cell phone Ooh. I'm gonna blind you guys. What is you the is that? Sounds perverse. Don't sing that. What the heck would I was that the what was I what? <laughs>